hey guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to use event dispatchers so here i have an empty third person project an actor blueprint i'm going to name it bp underscore point light and in here i'm going to add a point light to it okay so i'm going to make this the root so we'll have one point light with this and that make it yellow now i'm going to do is right click create child blueprint and this is going to be i'm done i'm not going to change the name it's going to be bp point light child so if i go to a uh, parent now we can test this before so let's say i can create a delay here of one second and then toggle the visibility of of this right so if i drag the child blueprint in the stage let me darken the sky change the light to this make it zero it may, pretty much does the same thing I think we should be able to see the light, right? There you go. This isn't. One. Two. Let me reduce the radius. All right, so this is only the setup, so I know how many lights are there. I place three. So all I did is copy, place one child, and then copy and paste. So from the parent point light blueprint, if I toggle with a one second delay, we should see all of them blinking. There you go. Right? Okay, so that works. Now, what happens if you want to do it from different, since I'm doing it from the pan point light, makes sense to work. What if I want to do it from different blueprint? Let's say the level blueprint. Now, if I move this code from here to the level blueprint, would it work? You place it here. Uh, I still have to grab the reference, right? So let's grab the reference. So I'll say get actor by class, actor of class. Then I'm going to grab the, I'm going to get the uh, pan, uh, pan blueprint, for which is uh, BP point light. And then the target is going to be the going to be the point light right. this one so this is the component so if you go here this is what i'm grabbing this is the point light component in the parent blueprint so i'm going and i'm going to toggle now what do you expect you expect all the three children to blink every every one second or what's going to happen let's find out see this is an issue it only affecting one of the child so one way of doing it is it can um it can do this get actor of get all actor of classes it can uh, put in like point light child right and iterate over all the children so we have three children and then toggle the visibility that will work but then you have to write a loop so you have to grab this and say for for loop and then toggle that so loop is unnecessary in this case also could be expensive depends how many children are there so one way to fix this issue is it to use event dispatch so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this on right remove the toggle visibility in the level blueprint 
I'm gonna to go to the append uh, blueprint and what I'm gonna do is add an uh, custom event I call it um, event toggle lights and then I'm gonna call this from the level group let's say I have the reference I'm gonna say uh, and Right, so this part is done. We can toggle again, but is it going to work? Let's try. If I do toggle visibility of the parent light, right? Now I have three children, and this is the parent blueprint. Remember, we did this before with event tick here, but this time we are um. We're, we're executing the event toggle lights from different blueprint. Let's play this. See, it does the same thing, same issue. It has the same issue. So this doesn't work. So we're going to remove this. Uh, what I'm going to do is create an event dispatcher here. Event toggle lights dispatcher. Okay, and from here I'm going to call call toggle lights dispatcher. That's all. Right, created pin dispatcher here, named it, and then call. And go to the pin light child blueprint. Uh, so what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to grab, I'm going to bind uh, toggle. Find event to toggle last display. Okay. And from here, I'm going to grab this, create a custom event, right? And name it toggle light. It's singular because it's one child, right? And now I'm going to toggle it. I'm going to say toggle visibility point. This should do it. What we have to do is to get actor by class of actor of class, and we're going to grab the grab the uh, parent blueprint. Now let's see what happens. Replay. It is working right now. 